In this video, I'm going to be talking about using jerk shad style lures. Now, there are certain situations in which I like to use these lures in comparison to, you know, paddle tails. And first things first, when it's calm, flat conditions, such as what you see here, this is when I really like to use these lures because you can use them much slower uh, than paddle tails. You know, the types of retrieves with this type of lure is going to be more of a like a twitch, twitch pause. And if it's too windy, you're not going to be able to effectively do that. So when I'm using these lures, I like to be fishing in water, you know, three feet or less. Anything deeper than that, I'll usually go with a paddle tail, even if it is calm conditions. So I'm usually going to be fishing, you know, like I said, two, three feet of water or, or shallower and close to shorelines, you know, structure, grass flats and things like that. And when I retrieve this lure, I'll just cast it out and I'll let it sink to the bottom. Doesn't take long and just give it a couple pops and then let it sink back down, reel down to pick up the slack because if you have too much slack in your line, you're going to miss a strike. So a couple pops, reel down, reel in the uh, slack, a couple pops. And it looks like we got a fish that's just pushed off up here. Let's see if he'll cooperate. And that's another thing I like about this lure. It casts really well because it's very streamlined. Again, just a couple pops, let it sit. And depending on the activity level of the fish, you know, if they're really active, you can go a little bit faster with the uh, retrieve, a little bit more aggressive. But if they're being pretty lethargic, you know, if it's really hot out or if it's really cold out, I like to slow this lure down and just let it sit on the bottom and then pop it every few seconds. Now for redfish specifically, you really want to keep this lure close to the bottom. So make that pause even longer when fishing for redfish. If you're fishing for snook, sea trout, some of those species that are a little bit more aggressive, they're more of an ambush predator, you can do almost like a constant popping of the rod tip to give it a really erratic retrieve. As you can see there, constant pop, one, two, one, two, and I'm constantly reeling, as you can see there. And I'll keep the rod tip down when I'm doing that kind of retrieve and when I'm doing a slow, you know, bounce along the bottom, I'll keep the rod tip up. Now, as far as rigging goes, I just have this rigged up on, this is a five inch. This is the Alabama Leprechaun. This is our uh, custom jerk shad with salt strong. And the hook I'm using is a three aught one eighth ounce owner twist lock. You can use a one eighth ounce or one sixteenth ounce. If the fish are being more finicky, I'll go with a one sixteenth ounce. Just gives it a little bit of a slower presentation than a 1 8 ounce and you know different jerk shads work really well I really like this one which is the Alabama leprechaun 5 inch and also the gulp jerk shad in either watermelon or a camo color those are usually my go-to's when I'm throwing jerk shads for redfish snook sea trout and even flounder now these jerk shads are also great lures for sight fishing because they're very finesse you know, they don't make a lot of commotion to spook fish. And speaking of sight casting, I think we have a nice red pushing a wake up here. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get them. First, I'm trying to figure out which direction he's going. I think he stopped. Like he stopped. Or maybe he's right here. Oop, there he is. <laughs> Got it. Nice red on the jerk shad. And just doing a few pops. Letting it sink. Feisty little guy. There we go. Always nice when the fish cooperate on filming day. So, five inch Alabama leprechaun jerk shad. 
great lure for redfish up in the shallows. So if you need any of these lures, either the 5 inch Alabama Leprechaun Jerk Shad, which I just caught that red on, or you know Gulp Jerk Shad, we also sell Z-Man on our shop page at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page, so definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So now I'm going to go ahead and keep working the shoreline, see if we can get some more fish. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.